Good evening. I wanted to follow up the previous video with this video. This is the second recipe for shrimp that my father had in his recipe box. This fly is solely made of twine and a couple other small materials, thread hook and some UV finish is what I put on it. So what I have in the vise is a Sabre number 16 Caddis Pupa Shrimp Hook. And for some weight, we're going to add some lead of 0 0.010, 10 wraps. And the thread we're going to use is Danville 70 denier in tan. Start your thread on in front of the lead, wrap it behind the lead to secure it right in the middle of the hook shank. And once you have the tag end cut away, give it several wraps. You want to try to cover up the lead as much as possible. Wrap that thread all the way around the bend of the hook, basically as far as you can. body is going to be the standard twine. Something I have a lot of hanging around the house. I also put it to good use. So what I did is unravel it and basically took four strands and separated them from the rest and that's what we're going to use to make the body. You want to start tying your twine right behind the lid. Wrapping your thread backwards to the mid bend of the hook, leaving a tail section. Wrap your thread back up, and then pull it in front of the twine and bring your thread up behind the eye. Now you can grab your bobbin cradle, swing it around, and place your thread on it. And what I'm going to do is give it a few light twists and start wrapping the twine backwards to the mid bend of the hook. I noticed a piece of lead didn't want to play along, so we're going to take care of that. Once you wrap the twine to the mid bend of the hook, you want to twist all the fibers together tightly, forming a noodle. And once I have all the strands twisted together, and I feel that it's rather tight. I like to attach my hackle pliers so it doesn't come undone on me. Start wrapping the twine forward, touching turns all the way up to about the mid bend of the hook. And then we're going to start tapering it to make it a little thicker as we go along. And 
And if you have a couple of the small fibers pop out on you, go ahead and clean them up now. It's easier to do it now than it is after you wrap on them and they're sticking out to where you can't cut them. So once you get to the, about the three quarter point, start wrapping backwards over top of your previous wraps, just to build up a little taper, then wrap forward again. You want a nice fat bug. One thing that's important is that when you prep your twine, make sure your strands are plenty long, more than a foot. That way you have enough material to work with and you don't short yourself. And continue to wrap touching turns back forward to right behind the eye and now you can tie it off. Yeah. And when you're tying it off, make sure the excess twine remains on the underside of the fly. Yeah. 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 And once you have a few wraps, go ahead and trim off and leave yourself about maybe a half inch of material to work with. And give it a few whips with the whip finish tool, securing it. Now you can cut away your thread. Now I want to trim up the tail a little bit and the front legs also are a little long so we'll take care of those. I like to work the front legs a little bit with my fingernails just to make them look a little more natural. Now you can add a little UV resin to the back of the fly. I know my father's original recipe says add some head cement, but modern times here, we got some UV resin that he didn't have back in the day. Go ahead, coat it thoroughly. I'm not trying to really add any bulk to it. Just want to let it sink into the fibers. That way it gives it a nice hard shell and doesn't come apart on me. And grab your ultraviolet light and cure your resin. Give it a couple seconds. When it's no longer tacky, you're done.
And there you have it. You have my father's second shrimp recipe. This one made out of twine. Pretty simple. The hardest part is getting the body taper looking good. All right, if you like these videos, please give me a click on the like button. Give me a subscribe and leave me a comment. Tell me what you like about it. You can even tell me what you don't like about it. Thanks. Stay safe out there and I'll see you for the next one.